How did this man get a gun inside of prison and take someone's life? Let's talk about it. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about a prison inmate in rural South Georgia, Glenville, Georgia, which is, by the way, where Shannon Sharp is from. He was able to get his hands on a gun inside of the prison and take someone's life. Now, prayers out to that person's family and may they rest in peace. The inmate who did this also took his own life. So you know what that's called. I can't really say that exact term on YouTube because they will try to flag me for it. But you understand what happened. He took the person's life, then took his own life with that gun and nobody else. But the question is, how do you get your hands on a gun? I mean, I've heard about quite a few things getting us out of a prison. Uh, drugs and all kind of random food not supposed to have. But a gun? Aren't there metal detectors? Did a guard bring it in? Who allowed this whole thing to happen? Now, there's some history with this particular prison. A warden previously had got fired and got brought up on charges of racketeering and whatnot because there was a widespread system of contraband and weapons and whatnot getting inside the prison. But a gun, that's a next level type of breach. Now, before I go any further, let's get to the actual news clip. Of course, I will link to everything in the box. And if you're on IG, visit the link in the bio, go to the corresponding article on the website. But without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. Now the Georgia Department of Corrections is working to get answers. They want to know how an inmate was able to get a gun, shoot and kill a food service worker at Smith State Prison before turning the gun on himself. It happened over the weekend. WJCL 22 News' Brooke Butler has been in touch with the GDC as well as civil rights advocates. She joins us now live in the studio in Brooke. We're learning the victim and the offender were in a personal relationship. Yeah. Pause right there. Now, I see this quite a bit with these prison stories. It'll be um, a, a guard or a staff or somebody getting into a relationship with an inmate. And sometimes it may not be somebody inside the prison. Sometimes you got guys and girls outside the prison that form bonds with inmates. But you got to understand one thing about inmates. They're inmates. 9999 times out of 100, they're in there for a particular reason, and they are where they're supposed to be, especially a prison. See, it's one thing dealing with a, a jail. That's where you go for usually temporary, less than a year, usually, not all the time, but usually. A prison, you had to get sentenced, so you got found guilty, you had to get sentenced to go there, and you're probably going to be there for quite a while. They are in there for a reason, so if you get into a relationship, you want to try to break boundaries that shouldn't be broken. Understand you're, that you're putting yourself in danger, not only yourself, but your family on the outside. But I digress. Yeah, Shannon, the Department of Corrections made that announcement today. The department also said it found a suicide note that appears to have been left by the inmate. But civil rights advocates say they want to know how a gun got into the prison in the first place. That's a great question. Million dollar question. How did a gun get inside the prison? This was the tipping point right here. Early Sunday morning at Smith State Prison in Glenville, the Georgia Department of Corrections says inmate Jadricus Hart shot and killed 24-year-old food service worker Arian Grace before shooting himself. I've uh, briefly spoken with uh, the sister of Miss Grace, and they are uh, understandably uh, upset. The GDC says... It of course they're going to be upset because they're like, how did our loved one get shot inside of a prison. It wasn't by a guard. It wasn't by somebody who's supposed to have a gun. I don't even know if guards have guns. I'm not sure. I think they have other things on them because usually the guards are going to be outnumbered by the inmates. So if a guard is overwhelmed by a bunch of inmates and disarmed, that could be a dangerous situation. So I don't know if guards have guns. If y'all know, let me know in the comments. It appears the two were in a personal relationship. The corrections department says it has recovered the gun used. It's now working to learn how the firearm got into the prison to begin with. I don't think they've ever had anything like this happen before inside of a facility. Brian Randolph is with the Human and Civil Rights Coalition of Georgia. He
But the question is, and then here's some text I guess they're going to get into. But the question is, even if the gun got into the prison, how long was it there? How long did it just exist in the prison being hidden somewhere? Is there not a way to find it before it gets used in the death of two people? Tells me he actually contacted the GDC last year, telling them he heard a gun was in the prison. So we were tipped off in May of last year uh, of a possible weapon that had been uh, dropped off via a drone. He says, so maybe the drone brings a weapon in. It's there since last year for a year. The guns in the prison and nobody finds it. And they let people know it's like, hey, you might have a gun in there. And for a year, they can't find it until it gets used in the death of somebody. That's crazy. All right. Now I'm going to just read some of this. This group going to pop out of their cells and sexually gain access to the K building front yard deadly for the past five days to receive contraband items, i.e. drugs, cell phones, etc., cetera, including the 45 handgun via drone dropped Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday after having already pre-rigged stuff. Stuff to lock with paper, et cetera, the doors in advance prior to the guards locking the doors. As he sent this text message to GDC's general counsel telling her exactly what he was told. We never heard anything else about it. We reached out to the GDC asking them about this. They said, quote, that was investigated by our Office of Professional Standards and no leads were developed. Randolph argues GDC should have tried harder. I guess, you know, my question is the next time when they get another one in, you know, how many more people are going to, get killed besides two. Advocates believe the violence inside Smith State Prison is caused in part by understaffing. Randolph believes this latest incident will likely only make matters worse when it comes to hiring. Nobody's going to go and work in these in these places. I've reached out to the governor's office asking for a response to this. I haven't heard anything back <clears throat> just yet. And Shannon, this is the second staff death at Smith State Prison in less than a year. You may remember back in October, an inmate assaulted a corrections officer with a homemade weapon. Back to you. All right, Brooke, thanks so much. Now, the offender who GDC says killed the food service worker was serving 20 years for voluntary manslaughter. Mm, 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 mm. Now, as I, as I close, I want to say this. Rest in peace to the young lady. Prayers out to her family. And I'm not trying to attack her for her decision, allegedly, to be involved with this guy romantically. I don't know when their alleged romance started, if it started outside, if she knew him from the area, from rural South Georgia, or if it started inside the prison. My point is that when you're dealing with inmates, you have to understand that they're inmates and you're at a prison. This guy was doing 20 years for, what was that, involuntary manslaughter or something like that? Like, he already had took somebody's life. So it's nothing for a guy like that to take your life if you're with him. You got locked up. It wasn't like it was a self-defense situation. You're doing 20 years in prison. So you did something wrong. You probably had a rap sheet before that. This is a criminal. These guys are dangerous. And he proved himself to be dangerous, a, a dangerous criminal. So if you want to get involved with somebody in your prison, my advice is don't. You might be a little lonely. You might not have anybody in your life. But I promise that your life is worth more than putting yourself in danger. Not only yourself, as I close, but your family. Because sometimes not just enough to have you. They want to try to uh, put your family in danger. If things are not going right between the two of you, or they want to try to threaten them to send money and contraband and things of this nature, you don't want any parts of that. And I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you, what's your thoughts on what's going on here with the prison inmate taking not only his life, but the life of his alleged romantic interest inside the prison with a gun. Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. Clearly, there's some security problems at this prison. They said a gun came in through a drone in, back in last year. What was that? May of last year. And they're just now finding it after it gets used. And uh, deletion, self-deletion. 
I mean, come on. Then they said, oh, well, we investigated it, but we didn't find any leads. Well, what about all the other stuff you got in there? Again, there was a whole warden fired for this because there was a rampant system of contraband being allowed into the prison. Drugs, weapons, you name it. And when I say weapons, I don't necessarily mean a gun. I'm talking about other kind of things, uh, knives or pieces of metal that are able to be fashioned into knives. These things are just proliferating the prison system and nobody does anything about it until now when somebody loses their life. Well, actually two people lost their life. The guy who took the lady's life and then he took his own life with that gun. Really unfortunate, but whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.